Okay guys, today I'm gonna show you the locations of all 50 stun jumps in GTA 5 so you can get the show off trophy and achievement as fast as possible. For pretty much all of those stun jumps it doesn't matter if you use a bike or car. Also I provided you guys with chapters of the different stun jumps so you can navigate through the video very easily. And for every single stun jump I'm gonna show you both the regular stun jump and also an epic version of it. But yeah, now let's start with stun jump number one. Stun jump number one is located in Mirror Park and for this one I used my Barty 801 of course, the classic stunting bike, jumped over this ramp and yeah, just simply land in the canals and that's stun jump number one already. And the epic version of that stun jump has been landed by the one and only Parallax. He's using his ruffian, goes off the stun jump ramp and then flies into the canals, gets a ram from them and then lands a super nice precision stunt right here on top of this bridge. Good job, dude. Stunt jump number two is located in Pillbox Hill. As I already told you guys, it doesn't matter if you hit those stunt jumps with a bike, a car or whatever. It's really pretty easy most of the time. And the epic version of that stunt has been landed by the stunting legend Benji. He's using a ruffian once again and lands a super nice mini precision stunt on top of this sign. Good job, man. Stun jump number three is located in the golf area. And yeah, that's pretty simple again. Just jump over this bridge and the stun jump is completed. And here the one and only Shadow has landed a super cool and funny Fagio stunt where he lands a precision stunt. So GG man. Stun jump number four is located in downtown and here you just have to be careful not to hit any cars down there. But if no traffic is incoming, that's pretty easy again. And Shadow has hit a very very special epic version of that stun jump with his scram jet. As you can see he's using a pretty funny glitch here at the Arcadius building, drives up and in the end uses a second boost with the scram jet in order to land of course on the very top of the highest building of Los Santos, the Maze Bank, GG. Stun jump number 5 located at Strawberry, nice name by the way. And all you gotta do is jump off this ramp at the parking garage. Be careful not to hit any cars or anything. Simply land on the road and that's very, very easy. And for this stun jump, Benji showed us a very, very nice epic version again with his ruffian bike. Goes into a double bump, nice backflip here and then goes into a very, very clean and also long grind at the same time. Just take a look at the finish. Also very nice precision. So GG Benji. Stun jump number six is located at Burton and this one actually took me a few attempts because it's very weird. You have to get a very very far distance actually, otherwise it won't be counted. And the epic version of that stunt has been landed by Chinga this time. He uses his death bike, jumps off, gets a nice double bump and in the end, take a look at this landing guys, isn't that beautiful. Stunt jump 7 located at Pillbox Hill again. Here you have to go off the ramp of the famous red parking garage. Jump far enough, don't hit any objects and then you can also complete this stunt jump. The one and only Snowball has showed us a very very nice epic version here with his scram jet. He goes off the stunt jump ramp, uses the boost and lands even with a backflip on top of the maze bank building. Good job man, love your stunts. Stun jump number 8 located at La Puerta Freeway and at this one you just have to jump off this ramp at the highway, land it safely. I actually also crashed into a car here but it still worked. And the epic version has been performed by the chat stunting legend Elite Stone. He is showing his flying skills here, flies backwards and in the end lands his chat on top of this sign. Stun jump 9 at Rockford Hills, here you simply have to go off this ramp here land on the ground safely and complete the stun jump. And here Zoro provided us with a very very nice epic version actually. He goes off the ramp with this vehicle, I don't even know the name of it to be honest. I think it's from the new Arena Wars DLC. Um, uses this weird side boost technique, I have seriously no idea how that works. And yeah, you can already see it guys, he's going towards the parking garage and of course lands it safely. Good job. Stun jump 10 is located at Burton and here you simply have to get a straight jump and the rest is pretty easy. 
But the stunt that Cap hit for this stun jump location is super impressive again. Take a look at this, guys. He is going off the stun jump, gets a nice little wall climb, and in the end lands right on top of this tiny precision on top of the church. Yeah, 100% realistic, but GG Cap, that must have been hard. Stun jump 11 is located at Elgin Ave. I think that's how you pronounce it, at least. You gotta go off this ramp here and simply land on the ground. Can't be easier. And Benji has hit the epic version of that stunt again, this time with the oppressor. And that's looking super impressive in my opinion. He uses two boosts here, gets a nice little backflip. And in the end, he's not just simply landing on the crane, but actually on the very top of the crane. Jesus, crazy dude. You can find stunt jump number 12 at Little Seoul. I think you pronounce it like that at least. So yeah, just simply go off this ramp. And this one actually took me a few tries. It's, it's pretty weird. Sometimes it lets you fail even though everything was clean. But yeah, after a few tries you should definitely get it and it's not a big problem. Soro is back with the epic version of that stunt again. And he uses his scram jet. Gets a super duper far jump here. Then jumps out of the scram jet. And I think I know what he's doing. Yes, he's doing a skydive stunt right through the Liquor Hole. Oh my god. GG and even a clean landing. Stunt jump number 13 at Vinewood Hills this time. And that's also a little bit tricky because you have to survive the landing. So actually I would recommend using a car for this. But as you can see, I could also do it with my Barty 801. And the epic version of that stunt that has been hit by Dark is actually more funny than epic in my opinion. Take a look at this, guys. <laughs> He's just landing inside of the tree. What the hell? Creative and cool. Pillbox Hill is the location of stunt jump 14 again. And that's very, very simple again. All you gotta do is jump off the highway, land safely. And here it was actually pretty hard to find an epic version, but Shadow still could think of something so GG already he used his super sports car does a nice little flip here and lands right on top of this precision thingy stun jump number 15 is located at the Vespucci Boulevard and that's very easy again you just gotta jump off this ramp and it's not really a difficulty but guys the epic version of that stunt for sure is a difficulty take a look at this insane old gen car stunt by Blaze He's going off the stun jump, gets a super far jump by mainly using the brake boosting technique and then lands a precision stunt actually on top of the ferris wheel. Blaze, seriously, you are the car stunting legend. Stunt jump number 16 is located at Adams Apple Boulevard and here you just gotta use that ramp, land on the highway and that's it. The epic version has been hit by Chinga this time again. And he uses the boost of his scram jet to land right on top of this crane here. Good job. Stun jump 17 at Banning. This one isn't even so easy, guys, actually, because you gotta have the right amount of speed to make it over there and to not crash into any objects, of course. Here we got a nice car stunt with Franklin's special ability by Yusuf. He is getting a huge jump with the brake boosting technique, probably again. And then, nice precision stunt on top of the green bridge. Stunting is so impressive, isn't it, guys? Stunt jump 18 at Rancho starts on top of a parking garage again. Just like last time, you gotta jump off this brown ramp here, land safely on the ground without hitting any cars, and that's it. And for this stunt jump location, Shadow has actually showed us a very cool go-kart precision stunt here. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Stun jump 19 located at the terminal isn't even so easy guys because you gotta have a decent amount of speed to get enough distance otherwise it's not gonna be counted but yeah still not the hardest challenge. And the car stunting legend himself Blaze has showed us a very very cool epic version again. He went off the stun jump and then flew right towards this tiny light pole and landed on top of it. What the hell? Stunt jump 20 at Elysian Island is pretty easy again, I would say. You just gotta jump off this dirt hill, land on the road on the left side, and that's it. 
And here I'm actually very excited to show you the epic version, guys, because Truth Stunting has hit a banger with his death bike. He went off the dirt hill, glided a super long distance, and in the end, as you can see, he's aiming for one of these three chimneys and lands it very, very nicely. Good job. We are still at the Elysian Island at Stunt Jump number 21. And this one is actually at the same location than the one before. We just gotta go off this ramp, jump over the water and land safely over there. And that's of course a great stunting location for the car stunting legend Blaze, who is using his adder with Franklin's special ability again to jump off this ramp and then he lands a very very sick precision stunt on top of the red bridge. This must have taken a while I guess. Stunt jump number 22 is located in Little Seoul again and here you have to jump off this ramp with a good amount of speed, otherwise it's not gonna be counted again. But yeah, not really hard. And once again actually, we have a nice adder stunt by Blaze here, who goes off the ramp and then gets a huge glide going towards exactly this building at the airport. Jesus man, crazy stunt. Stunt jump 23, located in La Puerta. Espanol. We gotta go off this ramp here at the canals and this one really isn't an easy one guys because you gotta jump right to this location otherwise the stunt jump is not gonna be counted. And actually we got three adder car stunts in a row from Blaze. This time he's going off the ramp and gets another huge glide and you can see it already guys. Where is he going to? Write it in the comments right now. Of course he's landing right on top of the ferris wheel once again. This guy, this guy is insane. We are still at La Puerta for stun jump number 24. And here we have to use this ramp here under the highway. Pretty easy. And using this ramp for an actual epic stunt wasn't easy, but Benji could still think of something. As you can see, he's going off to the left side here, gets a double bump from this hill and lands a super nice precision stunt on top of this red tower. GG. Halfway done already, we are at stun jump number 25 at La Puerta again and this one is very very simple. But this stunt from Cap definitely isn't simple anymore because he is using his Hakushu, goes off the ramp into a hipster slide, I've already made a tutorial about this technique too, into a second hipster slide, into a glide and boom, right through the sign. That was a really creative one. Number 26 in Little Seoul again and with this one I really struggled hard because for some reason it never counted the stun jump for me. I had to jump very very far here otherwise it didn't work. And Cup is back of course with a nice car stunt using Franklin's special ability, double bump from the sign and lands a very cool stunt on top of this building. Stunt jump number 27 is located at Pacific Bluffs and here you just gotta jump off this building here and land it safely. Here we go. You're probably thinking what epic version is even possible here? Now take a look at it. Shadow doing a 360 with his party and lands a super clean precision stunt here. GG. Okay, now we are back at the Elysian Island for stunt jump number 28 going off this ramp landing on top of the building and the stun jump is completed. For this stun jump we have a nice epic version by Frozen who goes off the ramp with his ruffian and lands a cool precision stunt. Stun jump 29 still at the Elysian Highland, we're just using a different ramp here, landing on the same roof actually and that's it. This time Shadow used his Barty Ada 1 jumped on top of the roof as well but that's not it of course guys because he is using another bump here to go towards this little antenna here and lands perfectly on top of it. Stun jump number 30 still at the Elysian Island and there are actually so many ramps here that's that's incredible. Here we got a very nice rocket Voltic stunt by Soro who goes off the ramp then jumps to this building, loads up his boost again of course and in the end you can see it already guys, he's landing on top of this bridge here. Good job to Zoro, not an easy one. Even more ramps at the Elysian Island and of course stun jump number 31 also uses a ramp. This one definitely isn't easy because there are so many objects you can hit, you just gotta be lucky once and that's it. 
And those ramps are of course perfect for huge glides with the Adder car. And Blaze is showing us one of those crazy stunts again. He is getting a huge glide and in the end guys, no, he doesn't land on a bridge, but he goes on and in the end lands a precision stunt on top of this triangle precision, whatever that is. Three more stun jumps to go for the Elysian Island and stun jump number 32 goes off this ramp over the water and just safely land on the ground. And for this stunt, Benji has actually hit a very similar stunt than Zoro. He also goes off this roof and lands a stunt on top of this bridge. Similar stunts I know, but GG anyway. For stun jump number 33, we got another ramp at the Illusion Island. And for some reason, guys, this one wasn't even easy to do because the game is just weird. And now we got a very, very special Panto stunt by Cap, who is using the ramp, of course, and lands also a precision stunt on top of this triangle thingy. Good job. Stunt jump number 34 is finally the last one at the Illusion Island. Here we got a jump off the dirt hill and land safely on the grass, I would say. And Yitsu has hit a very nice Hakushu by going off the dirt hill. He used a double bump from this building and landed with a backflip right on top of this blue crane. GG. For stun jump number 35, we are coming to the airport now finally. And we gotta go off this super famous ramp. I'm pretty sure most of you guys have already hit that stun jump anyway. But yeah, if you haven't, take a look at it. I did it with a backflip, for example, and landed on top of the parking garage. And the epic version has been hit by Blaze again, who is using his famous blue adder, goes off the ramp, and he doesn't land the airport tower. That would be a bit boring for this guy. Instead, he is just landing this tiny antenna that looks ridiculous. For stun jump number 36, we still have to go off this very famous ramp, of course, even though most of you have done it already, that's how you can do it. And now we finally got an epic BMX stunt by Stan Online, who is going into a wall right here, into a double wall right, and finishes it off with a nice 360, finally, awesome BMX stunt. And of course, guys, for stun jump number 37, the second big airport ramp is still left. I used a Barty 801, even though this one for sure is easier with a car. And now you gotta take a look at this incredible car stunt from Shadow, who goes off the ramp, gets a huge glide, and lands a precision stunt on top of this green bridge. Legend. Stun jump number 38 is located at Del Piero Freeway. Just jump down here and that's it. And for this stun jump location we got another nice BMX stunt by Frozen who does a sick combination here. Frame bounce into a grind. I, I can't say that word guys sorry because of YouTube guidelines. But yeah good job Frozen for this awesome BMX stunt. Stun jump number 39 at El Burro Heights. This one's pretty easy just go off that ramp and land it. And Chinga had a very nice idea with the rocket Voltic here. He went off, used the boost and landed right on top of this electricity tower like an absolute boss. Good job. Now we are at Vinewood Hills already guys. Stun jump number 40, jump off this hill, landed safely and that's it. And if Cap is doing the epic version and uses a Barty 801, you guys should already know that it's gonna be amazing. As you can see, he's going into a huge glide here, gets many bumps actually before he's landing the actual stunt. And yeah, um, I don't even know what I should talk right now. It's, it's just way too long. In the end, he's bumping off here and lands on top of the yellow crane. Good job. Stunt jump number 41 is located at Grand Sonora Desert and for this one I used a car for the first time because it's pretty hard to survive this jump and you gotta jump super far as well. So I would also recommend you guys using a car. And here a stunter called Preg has hit a very nice monster truck precision stunt on top of one of those prison towers. Good job. Number 42 at Rayton Canyon and here you gotta get a straight jump land on the road. Not so easy, but also not so hard. And for this one, it was really, really hard actually to find a very, very good epic version. But Shadow has landed this stunt here. Pretty cool precision stunt with the Rocket Voltic and good job. 
Stun jump number 43 also located at Grand Sonora Desert. And here you don't even have to land on the road. You can land wherever you want and it counts. And also for this stun jump, it was actually pretty hard to find a good epic version. But Shadow used the death bike, jumped off the ramp of course, landed in the grass right here, jumped off another hill right through the electricity tower. That was, that was really epic, man. He keeps gliding, he's not landing on one of those windmills, but instead he uses another ramp and lands on top of this huge chimney. Good job, Shadow. Definitely one of the best stunts in this video. Stun jump 44 in Sandy Shores. That one is pretty easy again. Just jump over this building, land it safely and you got it. And that's another very, very nice epic version in my opinion. Benji is using his Hakushu, gets a huge glide going, also uses a second ramp right here at this hill or mountain and then glides on. Ethan uses a third one and then where is he gonna land guys? What do you guess? What do you think? He is landing on top of this tiny water tower. Crazy stunt and thanks for hitting that Benji. Stunt jump 45 is at Ron Alternate's wind farm and you gotta go off this ramp here. That's a little bit hidden I think. Land on the road and here we go. The epic version has been hit by Benji. Goes off the ramp, lands on the road here but that's not it of course. Goes off another hill here and lands a very very nice precision stunt again on another water tower. We are slowly coming to the end already. Stunt jump number 46 at Grand Sonora Desert again. All you gotta do is jump over those rocks here, land it safely, pretty easy. And that's another stunt by Chinga who uses the death bike, gets a very very far jump going and lands a nice precision stunt here, good job. Stunt jump 47 is located at the LMO C, I think that's how you pronounce it. You just gotta jump over here and you got it. And Shadow has really chosen the hardest stun jumps for himself because here it was also very very hard to find a cool epic version so he simply landed on top of this trailer. Also pretty cool. Stun jump 48 is located at the Procopio Promenade and here you just gotta jump over this bridge here. Pretty simple. And here we got another nice BMX stunt again but this time from Shadow as well. He's doing a very very nice handlebar grind and goes into a normal grind. Second last stun jump number 49 is in Palito Bay again and you just gotta jump off this hill here, land it safely, just be careful not to hit any objects but yeah. And another one, another BMX stun by Frozen who is doing a very very nice combination here as you can see. Good job and finishes it off even with a 360. So now guys, we are already at stun jump number 50 located at Mount Gordo and for this one I really had to use a car again because with the motorbike it was super hard. It's such a precise jump which you need. You're gonna fail this many times, believe me guys. But in the end, if you do it like me, you can also do it for sure. And the last epic version is provided us by the one and only Doxy who does a very very nice lighthouse stunt here, of course. Of course he does. So those were actually all 50 stun jumps with their locations already and congratulations now for getting the new show off achievement. If this video was helpful for you guys don't forget to drop a like and also subscribe to my youtube channel if you are up for more stunting content in the future. And I'm gonna see you soon again either in the next live stream or video. Until then have a great time everyone and bye.